In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to quote text in Outlook all in just five minutes. Whether you're crafting emails for work or personal use, knowing how to quote text can be incredibly useful in emphasizing certain points or referring to previous threads. So let's dive in and make your email correspondence more effective. To get started, you'll first need to go to the Outlook login page. You can easily find this by visiting Microsoft's official website and navigating to the Outlook section. Once you're there, look for the sign in button, which is conveniently located on the page. Click on it and this will prompt you to enter your credentials. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one, but for most people, simply entering your email and password will do the trick. After successfully signing in, you'll be directed to your Outlook mail. This is where you receive all of your emails, view conversations, and stay on top of communications. From the mail page, the next step is to compose a new message, which you'll do by clicking on new mail. This button is usually found at the top left corner of the screen, making it quick and easy to start drafting whatever message you need to send. Now that you're in the message composition window, the real work begins. Start by typing the text you'd like to include in your email. This can be your main message, question or any information you want to share. Remember, clear and concise communication is key. So take a moment to ensure your text is well written and easy to understand. Once you've got your text down, it's time to highlight the portion you want to quote. Think of quoting like using quotation marks in a conversation. It's essentially pointing out a specific part of your message or even re-emphasizing key details from an earlier email. With your desired text highlighted, move your cursor to the quote button, which is typically located in the toolbar above your draft. After clicking quote, you'll notice that the selected text is now formatted differently, usually indented or marked with a line to visually separate it from your original text. This not only helps convey your message clearly, but also makes it stand out for your recipient. It's a straightforward yet powerful way to keep your email interactions efficient and on point. And there you have it, you've successfully quoted text in Outlook. By following these easy steps, you can add professionalism and clarity to your emails in no time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this guide will help you feel more confident in your email endeavors. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more helpful tips and tutorials. Until next time.